company background of IKEA. In Sweden, IKEA is a well-known company that sells home furnishing that currently operates 433 branches in 53 countries, including Malaysia, whose stores are located in several states such as Kuala Lumpur, Penang and Johor. The company was founded in Sweden in 1943 by Ingvar Kamprad. Next, IKEA is a combination of the name of the founder, Ingvar Kamprad, and the farm where he lived in Elm Tarit Agunarit, South Sweden. IKEA sells furniture in store and online, which allow customers to browse the catalog of advertised products for the company logo. The first IKEA logo was designed in 1951 but in 1967 the logo was changed where the letters were previously oval and modified to rectangles. After the red and white version, they changed it to the color we can see now which is yellow and blue which were launched in 1983. The blues and yellow color combination in the logo is from the Swedish flag. These colors were chosen to convey the origins of the organization while reinforcing the uniqueness and heritage of Sweden. IKEA's vision statement seemed to be a simple one that states to create better everyday life for the many people. The vision statement is reflected with, within that company. It is very relatable because the IKEA company offers a range of furniture products that function well even at a low cost as well as making it accessibility to the majority of people. For the mission, our business ideas support this vision by offering a wide range of well-designed functional home furnishing product at prices to so low that many people will be able to afford them. According to the IKEA's mission statement, they realize that affordability should be a sustainable option for most people rather than a luxury brand. So, product and services of the company. The product and services offered by IKEA are high quality product at a low price and provide a good service as well as have a landscape design that makes customers time. Additionally, IKEA has more than 9,500 products in the market which consists of home and office furnishing, storage equipment, lighting and accessories. Not only that, but IKEA also serve food and drink to customers. There are a huge variety of delicious meal and drink that customers can enjoy, such as meatball, cake, pasta and lingerie juice and other beverage. All of the food and beverage served at this, at this restaurant are affordable price and meet the needs of customers. And lastly, Enterprise Strategy Map. IKEA is categorized in Quadrant 2 which is niche marketing because they focus on the target market which produce goods and service design for, for that specific group of customers. In addition, IKEA has divided its target market into demographic segments such as age, gender, and income. Assalamualaikum, my name is Aimee Nadira. So today I would like to present about the Identify Customer, which chapter 4 in our syllabus. I choose the topic IDIC. The IDIC have four steps in managing customer relationship which is identifying customers, differentiating customer, interacting with customer, and customer treatment. First is identifying customer. IKEA's target customer are people with strong income because of their highest spending ability. Also, for those who do not have a fixed income, they are more concerned about the price of goods. Second is IKEA use a method of data collection. When customer want to make 
payment both in online and offline situation if online ikea can collect their customer data when they use the website and want to make a payment they need to fill in their personal information such as email phone number and so on from here ikea can collect information about customer who have purchased from an ikea store in person the purpose of this data collection is to provide an internal improvement to the experience why they shop and always want to buy products from IKEA. IKEA is also able to take care of its customer by sending them emails offering attractive promotion and happen every month as well as a voucher that they can get. Second step is differentiate customer. At IKEA, when a customer becomes a member of the card offered by IKEA, they will have many different advantages than customers who do not have a member card. The difference between them is they that, that, that they will get a member discount. Each purchase will have a dedication that the IKEA company has set for their customer and will also earn points will each purchase also the difference of ikea treatment is is that it gives privilege on a birthday next step is interact with customer at ikea the way they interact with customer is that when customer enter the ikea store they will provide a catalog for a customer to reference and facilitate facilitate their affairs. Customer can make decisions and choices to buy IKEA products. IKEA employees are also responsible for knowing their customer needs when they enter the store. And fourthly is customized treatment. At IKEA, what can be seen is that a handful of customers like to be entertained by their employees on an ongoing basis as they choose item and they are a handful of customers who like to be independent and don't want to be disturbed in their purchasing process. These two different situations should serve as warning to employees to prepare for them. Next, we choose the topic differentiate customer from topic 5. From this topic, we choose the subtopic CPM. Is it SWOT and PACE. The strength that can be seen in IKEA is a business that has affordable prices from furniture such as shelf to sofas. All furniture for sale is affordable to be owned by all groups. Each product has its own quality based on the price of the product. Next is IKEA has a variety of design that do not get bored. This allow customer to choose a design according to their taste and the suitability of the theme of the space. The many IKEA design for one product are very satisfying for customer to buy. After that, for the weakness, the product assembly process which is self-assembly. Products that have a simple design are not necessarily easy to install. The installation process which needs to follow the instruction in the book is not an easy thing as it is something difficult for the customer to understand. As a result, customer gave negative feedback to IKEA. Then the low quality. IKEA products are among the most affordable products, but some products do not have the quality comparable to the price. This happens a lot and gets more and more complex day by day. For the opportunity, IKEA has is that can focus more online sales. In this age of globalization, the vast world of IT is everything. IKEA's profit has been multiplied as a result of this online sales. After that, of the three growing number of competitors, which can be seen now, its growing market will sell of the same product 
most of them want to emulate, emulate the IKEA brand because the brand has been successful globally. The last three IKEA will face is inflation. If inflation occurs at a fast and high level, it will reduce their ability to buy cash. This can be detrimental to IKEA because of course the price will also be affected and this will directly have an impact on IKEA market share. Next is pastor analysis. One is political environment. The first political is IKEA was the Chinese and Indian Asian markets. The Chinese and Indian government have shown willingness to allow international sales brand to enter their respective market. As for the Ikyan company, they have set up a business in India in 2018 and China Ikya invested in business in 1998. Then economic environment. First is global Economy. IKEA brand has existed in 50 countries. The state of the international economy is important to know about the profitable and growth of IKEA business and have a way to overcome in the event of recession in an unstable economy. After that, social environment. The social environment involving IKEA is about culture issue. The issue of culture is an issue that is sensitive to all societies and even in every country. There are various cultures that need to be emphasized so as not to euro any their cultures. The culture issue associated cited with IKEA is the issue of advertisement that do not take care of the sensitivity of other culture. Recently, IKEA released a public image of the product and they used the image of a lesbian couple to promote the product. This has become a hot topic and has tarnished IKEA's reputation. Then, technology environment. The first technology environment is e-commerce. With the advent of the COVID-19 dynamics, it has made online business as well as the retail market more powerful. IKEA suggests that they have an e-commerce store to follow each to those trends. Since the IKEA company has many followers around the world, it can be a good way to ensure all their customers can access this e-commerce platform to buy IKEA products. And lastly is environment condition. Among the environment conditions to be discussed are renewable energy initiative. Eco-friendly service and product have become of interest this day. IKEA have afforded is to spend 1 billion USD in the environmental sector to support the use of environment friendly material. Thank you. Hi, my name is Akmal and I'm going to present about Interact with Customers. IKEA as the company is notorious in interacting with customers. IKEA's website is constantly updated with new materials such as new items and goods from its collections. IKEA maintains people's attention with activities, marketing and community engagement campaigns. They also encourage buyers to discuss new items on social media. The IKEA Square Media Challenge commercial demonstrated how well the company handles social media. In terms of the app, IKEA has a whole new interface that makes it extremely user friendly. It also has a daily stream of products recommendations, integrating information and promotions to keep the customers motivated. In addition, we may customize our feed by picking our preferred products. IKEA developed the listening hub to learn more about its consumers. 
in the hopes of increasing customers' interactions. IKEA used the listening center to collect worldwide dialogues about the company from multiple social media platforms. With the use of analytic technology platforms, IKEA can now track track discussions and undertake subject analysis. The next slide is customers customized treatment. IKEA has a large selection of home furnishing with over 1200 items. This massive product selection is mostly owing to the fact that IKEA outsources its manufacturing. It makes use of the low-cost manufacturing sources that are accessible all around the world. With furniture and home textiles, instead of being so pre-assembled, most of IKEA's furniture is intended for self-assembly. Customer relations at IKEA include a wide range of responsibilities, both within and outside of IKEA shops. From the main reception area and children's play areas to checkouts, exchange areas, returns in the contact center, co-workers and customer service assist individuals including answers and preventing issues. IKEA wants their customers return and the best way to do so is to make sure each interaction with IKEA is a happy one. Collaborative filtering is a software that sorts through customers for similarities. IKEA determined that a more scientific approach was required to handle the operations complexity of offering its products suggestions at a scale of boosting their degree of personalization. And by having a comprehensive awareness of their clients, Last but not least is customer satisfaction, loyalty, and business program. With IKEA, the company uses smart survey software to collect rapid input from customers in order to enhance long-term customer satisfaction. IKEA makes thousands of shipments every day and conduct frequent consumer surveys. IKEA maintains customer loyalty in a variety of ways. The loyalty program's purpose is to reward IKEA's most loyal customers. We're offering discounts across the shop. The IKEA Family Program is the name of this loyalty program. Next, for numerous years, IKEA has operated text messages program that targeted on in-store advertising, sweepstakes, and actual responses throughout many stores. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nina Nazri binti Muhammad Fauzi. So, for my part, I will explain about the recommendations for IKEA company. So, a business often lead with an organizational structure which have multiple layers among owners and employees. So, there are five strategies that we already discussed to make sure that the IKEA company can manage to do their job smooth and then nothing will happen if they follow the right method. So, the first one, there is an easiest way for them to begin or create per organization chart which is it can be in a optimal way so by doing this part it allows to design a structure or a excellent structure for management which already staff can fit with the business model of the section known as a level staffing so the ability for this structure organized give benefit because it can improve by knowing what is the strength and then what is the weakness for the company itself so normally we know there is a various function on the business because it can fit to ensure the employees can manage to do their job responsibilities by staffing. 
Usually, typical business or any company function is including in the department or production team, marketing, sales department or even financial department can go bigger which it can be considered in a smooth workflow that organized and determined which employees will handle all those responsibilities and each of duties related. So the next one is recommendations for IKEA organization chart also can combine all those functions with management hierarchy for certain department as to minimize all those costs or we know to cut costs and it can save their company budget. Moreover, organization structure also can have a clear design which person is directly a supervisor or co-workers which is if we have or the company have a multiple department with the same status as well why not they design more on the organization chart so all those workflow in the IKEA company can be developed in organization which required to manage and communicate with all those stakeholders as an example executive management have to communicate with other department to ensure the flow in the business as well So for the conclusion part, we know that IKEA is a popular company already maintained the IKEA concept and has a lot of stores located worldwide. So the IKEA concept is basically same in the terms of packaging, design or even sources on how the company distribute to make their product. So a business strategy is very important to any company because it can make a company sustainable or even they can operate for a long time so IKEA also to go beyond and it gives benefit towards other people because we know that all this time people love to go for a modern contemporary lifestyle with all those respected design by IKEA so I think that's all from me thank you